on the left side of the timeline panel we have the layers section you have a plus sign to add a layer and if you click that you have four different kinds of layers that you can add to your timeline bitmap layer that we've covered um, in previous tutorials as well as the vector layer sound layer and camera layer the sound layer uh, is something I have to go in depth about but we'll talk about that in a later tutorial and the camera layer I will talk about in this tutorial so your bitmap size resolution stays the same but your camera is moving closer and further away so I hit alt shift Z to reset everything and you can also animate this camera uh, let's see that's our first keyframe so let's put it on 15 and let's add a keyframe here and we're going to control and drag so now if we hit enter and as you can see our camera is pulling away as we get further into our animation now if I wanted to make this camera go faster as it zooms out all I have to do is just push it a little closer and let's see here now go back to here reset this camera alt shift and up now let's say I wanted to do a panning motion with this camera so all I would do is I'll push this here I'm gonna delete this uh, control shift space I'm going to copy this camera position and I'm going to bring it over here. And you make a copy of your keyframe by hitting this uh, duplicate plus sign button here. This plus sign is to add a keyframe. This minus sign here under keys is to remove a keyframe. And this plus sign with another plus in it duplicates uh, whatever frame you're currently on so that's how I did that okay now I'm going to push this camera in like so and now if I hit enter as you, as you can see it looks like the character runs into the frame but all I did was just move the camera so that's a pretty good illusion that you can do with that now if I wanted to let's say rotate this camera let's try this I'm gonna add a keyframe and I'm gonna rotate push that there move this back some and I'm going to add another keyframe here and I'm going to move this here okay and hit enter not much of a change let's see let's uh, add another keyframe and I'm gonna push in I know this is supposed to be a uh, sort of tutorial but now I'm just playing around with it I guess <laughs> um, I don't often experiment with the camera layer because I really all the shots I animate don't really uh, require any pans or zooms or anything like that so
That's what it looks like on your bitmap layer. Now let's go back to the camera layer and see what it looks like there. And there you go. Maybe in the future I will experiment with the camera layers in future projects. But for now, it uh, let's move on. Okay. Alt shift up. Oh, that'll be right under there. All right, there we go. Okay, that's basically your layers there. You can also look for these layers in the menu bar under layer, and you can um, hit your shortcut keys to bring up these layers and rename them as they come through. You can also double click and rename these layers also. And like I said before in a previous tutorial, uh, if you uh, hit the minus button, that will remove the frame, and it will ask you before it removes it, are you sure you want to delete this layer? Once you delete a layer, you can't get it back, so just be careful with this option here. Okay. Now, in your timeline panel, I already went over the keys. Uh, let's add a keyframe. Minus sign is to remove it. And the plus sign within the plus is to duplicate a frame. So let's duplicate a frame here. Go right there. So your new frame is a copy of one of these frames here. So right after this one, you had this. Okay. Anyway, this is your zoom button here. You can zoom, uh, zoom out wide or zoom in close in your timeline. And now we come over here. The arrow facing left will be your uh, start position. So if I hit this, it brings your indicator all the way back to the very first frame. And as you hit this button that faces the right, it brings you to the very last frame. So starting frame, last frame. And this button in the middle is to play your animation. You can also go up here to play, and it shows your shortcut keys on the right. So if I hit play, it plays that animation. Over here is your loop button, so if I turn that off and hit play, it should stop at the very last frame. There we go. I'm going to just leave that on. Your range, this shows uh, it will only play back the numbers that's, uh, for your start and for your end. So currently it's playing from the very first frame to frame 10. And that's indicated in the timeline panel with a yellow bar going over the numbers. And over here, if you have sound in your timeline panel, uh, you, you can enable or disable your sound by hitting that. And as you can see, it is symbol inside of your sound button lets you know that the sound is muted. And to unmute that, you just hit it again. Now, this sound button over here is your scrubbing, uh, scrubbing sound. So as you move back and forth between your keyframes in your timeline, you will hear sound based on wherever the sound is in the timeline. So this would be pretty handy if you needed to hear uh, syllables of a character talking and you can just scrub through their voice as they talk. And you can turn this off by just simply hitting it. And to turn it back on, you just simply hit it again. So when it's muted, when the scrubbing is muted, you see a little red indicator inside there, let you know that. And your last button over here for your uh, frame rate is currently set for three FPS or three frames per second. And if you look in your timeline, there is two volts of three for three frames per second. So it starts with one, one will always be uh, indicated there. So it'd be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 
if I were to make this eight frames per second, it would be eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. And if I would bump it up to 24, it would be 24, 48, and so on. And your uh, red scrub indicator will automatically show you what frame number you are currently on. So I'm currently on frame 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Double clicking on the scrub will extend the scrub so you're able to visibly see all the frames that are currently on frame 18 through all the layers. So if you had a frame on 18 on the vector layer, if you had a camera movement on frame 18, it would um, help you to see that. But you can also double click it to take that off of there if it's too distracting for you. So you can only focus on the one layer there. Okay, that's pretty much everything in the timeline layer. This is DJS Animation 100 signing out. Thanks for watching.